Edinburgh closes, forming a dense network that underpins the city's historical townscape, are typically thought of as hidden, narrow, and dark transition spaces. Throughout the city's long history, they have appeared and disappeared, and these transformations in the urban fabric are seen in the wealth of historical maps. Multiple studies of the city have predominantly taken socio-historical approaches to their examination. My dissertation offers a personal attempt to examine this unique urban form through the experience of a stranger in the city. By looking at it through the ideas developed in Georgi Gospodinov's novel The Physics of Sorrow and Theodor Ushev's animated film under the same title. By rethinking the concept of the labyrinth and the figure of the Minotaur, both foreground a singular voice of a foreigner who carries memories of his formative places and languages. I examine a sample of five temporal conditions encountered in specific clauses. These are fragments of urban texts, a sense of confinement, a patch of moss, a sudden view, and my own confronting reflection. Each chapter opens with a drawing meditation, which by fusing historical map, sketches, frames from animations, photographs and poetic text, animates the complex synesthetic urban situations I encountered in the specific clothes. The exploration of these conditions discloses the complexity and emotional capacity of the small, the insignificant, unnoticeable, ephemeral and marginal, unique aspects of the city that could inform a different study and understanding of historical Edinburgh. Each of these conditions is based on and animated by Gospodinov's language describing a particular poetic situation. Man needs to shut up for a while and in the ensuing pause to hear the voice of some other storyteller, a fish, dragonfly, weasel or bamboo, cat, orchid or pebble. How do we know, for instance, that bees don't write novels? Have we deciphered even a single honeycomb? The deep, cold storehouses of that silence, untouched by language, because language channels and drains deposits of knowledge like a drill. And so, the only storytelling creature, man, shuts up and steps back, yielding the floor to the organic and inorganic ones that have stored up silences until now. Actually, they've been telling their tales, but their muted, suppressed narratives have turned into mica and lynchen. Seaweed, moss, honey. With my dissertation, I have attempted to give voice to those neglected elements and animate them to demonstrate the potential of the clothes as an urban form and how individual memories of other places and experiences of newcomers, the foreigners, the minotaurs to the city could inform a new way to study Edinburgh.